Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell, rock da -ding. We're gonna get a Christmas tree, and it's not even Thanksgiving, but I wanna make my roommate happy, so we're gonna go shopping. Yay. That is all I have to say. Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Carolina Risotto. My sister Laura and I, uh, we are heading right now to Home Depot to do some Christmas shopping because it's the pandemic. It is a sad, sad year, and we're not gonna spend this Christmas with our family, which has never happened before, ever. We must go shopping. We must make Christmas Christmassy. Before we get started, like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I, th I think someone might stop me at the store looking for information. I don't blame them. We're not doing $200 for fakeness. No, I know it's LA, but we're not doing it. So we were inside the store and then we asked somebody, hey, like, where are the real Christmas trees? All we could find were fake ones. And then they said that they will only arrive after Thanksgiving. Black Friday. Black Friday, today is Sunday. We did find these cute little trees here outside and I'm kind of into them. You know, they're not like Christmas trees, like pine trees, but they're still real trees and they smell great and they're not crazy expensive. Like there's a tiny one here that's like $40. So. We're gonna shop around, smell them, because the smell is very important, and then maybe we can keep it even after Christmas. The rosemary tree smells great, so we're like, maybe we can eat it later, which sounds really wrong and like cannibalism, but that is not my point here. <laughs> Christmas is about giving and eating. Let's move on. Yeah, that's the thing. You can't hang ornaments like this on can't. these trees. No. You can eat them, but you can't hang anything on them. What about but they look more like a Christmas tree. It's because of the bow tie. No, just the bow. Yeah, no, and I feel it's like not a tie. It's, it's I feel a bow. like you could hang something, but it's so it's so weak. Carolina, this is not a real Christmas tree. What do you guys think? I'm, I'm fine with this. I'm distressed. Mm. Okay, guys, part one of the mission failed. Learn more about tiny trees that I can eat, and I've learned that you should not Christmas shop before Thanksgiving. So we're gonna try now this little Christmas market that we know exists in Hollywood. It's in this uh, church parking lot, so I know that every year they sell Christmas trees there. Let's see if they have anything, and they're all supposed to be real. So hopefully we will not be disappointed. Are we the only ones? I think maybe they're setting it up still. Maybe it's not open for business. This oh, sad face. This is not working out. <laughs> We're gonna have to do that next weekend. What do we do now? Do we like give up? Or do we try to buy something for Christmas? We can try to buy some Christmas decoration. Guys, this vlog is just not working out. <laughs> it's just not working out. <laughs> <laughs> There's a line <laughs> for the 99 cents. No. I'm not gonna stand in the line like this <laughs> for the 99 cents. <laughs> no. People keep telling me more and more that they love going to my channel and seeing me fail. Congratulations. I'll come back on another day. Three, two, one. Hello, we are back. It is Black Friday, November 27th, and we're about to do this right. Now we're picking up Mauricio, a great friend of ours and former roommate, and we're gonna go get a Christmas tree. And I know that today it's gonna work out because I've already seen people driving with a Christmas tree on top of their vehicles. This is Mao. <laughs> nice to meet you. Hey. hey. Finally, the trees are here. Oh, wow, look at these trees, guy. What height were you guys looking for? I think ideally it would be maybe my height or smaller. So like for five foot, it'd be 80, 80. So you're looking around 80 for the average about most. And then you also have to take in consideration the stands. The stands are $13 on the side. How do you differentiate the types of trees? Certain little things. So like this is a Fraser. So basically it's just a little more like, not as like 
full in a sense from the top. So this one, as you can see, it's it is similar. Don't don't get me wrong. But what you'll see is there is a little bit of like a bluish tint to it. And then for the final one, a noble. That's like what like just green. Like you'll see it solid green and it's almost full all the way to the top. And that's a, so that's it's a different. Purely tip. aesthetical. Basically, effect. yeah. So don't, neither of these necessarily last longer. It's just no. They all would. It, for the most part, you'd water them right and everything. They should last around the same time. This is how the trees are kind of rolled up for delivery, I guess. But they kind of look like this. They're really nice, but apparently they go from like two hundred to three hundred dollars. It's a lot of money for a tree. Is this how a squirrel feels? I guess so. It's a good time. So I think we found our tree. It's this one right here. It is tiny and cute, very much like the women in our family. Well, it's gonna be just $40, so I think it's a pretty good price. It's very full of life, and I can't wait to take it home to give it a name. And because it's so small, we can just put it in the trunk of our car, so that's the benefit. Now we have our ticket. We're gonna take this to the line and pay. Hey, this is a three-foot tree, in case you were wondering. Now we're here at the 99 cent store on La Brea, and let's see what we can find. stuff in here. Um, How much are these? I'm curious to... It doesn't say. I mean, I guess it's 99, 99 cents. cents. We should get an owl because it represents mom. So our mom is represented by the owl because she's always watching over us and giving us advice. And she also yes. likes talking us up to, to the people she knows. Mãe Coruja. It's a thing in Portuguese. Our dad is also an owl too, but our mom loves owls. She has a bunch of owl-themed stuff. So this represents mother. I like these a lot. Yeah? Yeah, I think they're cute. They, they light up. You put a battery in them and you they have like a fake candle in it. Oh, these See? are cute. Okay. So I think that's super cute. Two interesting choices. We can get one and put it on our door. The green is really pretty. I like the green too. I like the big bows. But this one's sparkly. I like the sparkly bow the most. Sparkly it is. Oh my god, Carol, there's so many things. There's a lot of things. Oh, I'm actually pieces. surprised. Show us what we chose. These are my socks. We have a bow, a Santa, we have an owl, we have a light. I love this one. That's cute, yeah. And we have some candy canes. Ooh! Ooh so people so, can eat when they visit. What did you get, Mo? Mexican candy, of course. All right, so everything came at about $12, including two candy bars and a pair of socks for Laura. So really, for the ornaments, it was probably around eight or seven dollars each little thing was truly 99 cents so i was not disappointed and i think we have the variety of items we need fortunately one of our neighbors actually gave us some of his christmas ornaments as a gift so we kind of have plenty at home so we're gonna head back home now and uh, put everything together and hope for the best Christmas ornaments and make the apartment look Christmassy. Should we name this tree? For example, my car's name is Baby Shark, 
our fridge name is Maria. So let me know in the comment section, what should we call our beautiful Christmas tree? I mean, it needs a name. It deserves a name after this whole adventure just to get it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog that has brought you a little bit of joy today. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and send this channel to your friends as well and have them subscribe. Honestly, if I was gonna ask for one Christmas gift, that would be it. More subscribers, more of an audience for me to engage with. Please connect with me on social media and show me how you are decorating your house for these holidays. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Carolina Risotto, and I'll see you guys next time.